Peace and blessings. Hey, you guys. It's Ashante from Gemini Holistics. And this is the reading for Pisces. Soulmate reading for October 2018. Here's your little monthly forecast for your soulmate readings, okay? Um, What's hair doing? All right, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, of course... Um, make sure that you guys go on over and check out my website. That's GeminiHolistics.com slash services. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, make sure you go on over there. If you have any trouble booking, just let me know, darling. Just inbox me or email me. There should be all the information that you need in the description box below. I also have a contact on my website. So, you know, it's all there. All the information is there. All right. So let's get you started, Pisces. Okay. Let's see what's going on for y'all, my fishy babies. All right. Hello, fishes. How y'all doing today? Which direction are y'all swimming in today? <laughs> Which direction are y'all swimming? Okay, darling. So again, like I said, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so Piscean energy here. You know, we're gonna call on your soulmate and see what's going on. Okay. So call upon Archangel Mikael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel to be in the four corners to cleanse and clear this space. I ask that you open up a divine line of communication directly to source and directly to spirit, truthful and clear communication only. All negative entities and energies, you're now banished to your four corners. You're now welcome here. Okay? Ashe. Yep. All negative entity, entities and energies. I gotta get from up around me. All right. Okay, so... Let's see what's going on for you guys. Please give me a Pisces soulmate rating for October, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Why are you nervous, my fishies? Don't be nervous. Okay. Some of y'all energy is a little jumpy right now. It's all right. It's okay. All right, babies. Let's see what's going on for you in the car. Hmm. Interesting. So, ooh, you guys have been doing some work on yourselves. I'm happy about that. See? Why were you scared? You didn't need to be scared. All right. Y'all are excited or something. There's some energy. Y'all Pisces are coming. What do you say? Hey, what's up? It's my reading. <laughs> All right. So let's get your romance angel cards together. Romance angels, please give me some insight for soulmate energy. Pertaining to, soul, to Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus. Thank you. All right. Ooh, okay. Okay. So you have been working a lot on yourself, but the relationship part is a little hard for you. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to get it together. All right. So let's take a look at your spread. Okay, Pisces, this is your spread. I'm going to try and make it nice and neat so you can see the little heart. So y'all can see the heart. All right. So here is your top and bottom cards. Here is your side of the spread, Pisces. Here's the soulmate side of the spread. And I'm going to break this all, all this energy down for you. Okay. Yes. All right. So hold up. I'm going to break the energy down. Okay. So your first card. 
This card is an indicator for both of you because the general energy in which you're existing in right now is the energy that's affecting you with Sunstone, which is empowerment. So everything that I read about you is going to be pertaining to you empowering yourself, bettering yourself, loving yourself, and your partner as well, really reaching that apex inside of their energy and where they're going, okay? So the first card that comes up for you right now is um, Cooper, right, which is rites of passage, and this is in your physical position, okay, so right now you kind of been going through some trials or some different situations where you've been tested in a lot of different ways around your energy, how you are able to sustain yourself physically, uh, really going through the going to the next level, so some of you might be, you know, aging up a little bit, <laughs> you know, maturing a lot, inside of your life, physically, mentally, and spiritually, okay? And the energies really are just calling for you right now to open up that um, understanding inside of yourself and move forward into the next level. You are empowering yourself to go into that next level of your life. Um, it's positive. It's a beautiful thing. It's not easy at all, but you really are doing a wonderful job handling that energy and opening up to that energy. So, you know, as these trials or as these few little last things come along down the pipeline, just be aware that you're still going to that next level. Be encouraged inside of yourself. Don't allow yourself to get down or get depressed or about anything that may have come up as a blockage or energy issue because you do have the power within yourself to move forward. Okay? <laughs> so, emotionally, black tourmaline, protection. Okay? <sighs> Whatever's going on emotionally for you, you still may be a little bit raw. You might have gone through some conflicts or some issues emotionally um, at different points during this year or recently in the near past. Um, and these things may have gotten you a little bit down, especially when it comes to relationships, love, and your feelings about different things. That's okay. Um, you know, make sure that you are protecting your energy because I know that Pisces do love to give away a lot of energy. A lot of you guys are empathic, okay, by nature and in your empathic nature sometimes people like to take advantage of that cling on to you get onto your energy and then kind of like jack your energy and steal your energy from you so make sure that you're protecting yourself clean off your aura do aura baths um you know get your spiritual protection to get you amethyst your um <laughs> black obsidian your black tourmaline get you some protective energies around you because there may be some you know People trying to manipulate you emotionally or different kinds of energies like that. And just be aware that that's the energy that's going on there. So, you know, you know, kind of be proactive. Don't wait until you get depressed or angry or anxious until you address it. Okay. Here is your spiritual card and it's fire agate, which is creativity. So spiritually, you're on fire right now. You're really in your zone. Like I said, the only thing you got to worry about is whoever these other people are or this other energy trying to attack your emotions. Um, can I say this? Just don't avoid your emotions, Pisces. Don't avoid them. Deal with them. Head on. And sometimes that's hard for you because you guys can tend to be a little bit laid back and you don't like conflict when it comes to certain situations or certain things. Sometimes some of you can be a little docile. So make sure that you're being real about your emotions, how you feel about things. Don't let that energy, you know, kind of dissipate and get to you in a certain level. But um, spiritually, you're, you're tuned in like you normally are. Like you're very psychic naturally. And you have a lot of gifts when it comes to spirituality and that spiritual energy, but you may be feeling like you're going to another level inside of that. You you may be inclined to do energy work, candle work, spell work, herb work, whatever, whatever it is that you're into, prayer, fasting, meditation, yoga, whatever. Um, all of that energy is kind of really elevating for you and it's all contributing to because you're going to go through another period of reawakening and opening up of yourself. So there's a lot of positive things that's going to be shifting for you, Pisces. So don't feel limited by your surroundings or anything that's coming up to kind of like you know, kind of crush anything or get in your way when it comes to certain types of things. Don't worry about it. It's all going to work itself out in the highest, best good for you, okay? So where your soulmate is, all right, Tanzanite clarity inverted um, physically. Your, your soulmate's not with it. <laughs> 
<laughs> she or he's like, eh, eh. <laughs> all right, there's a little bit of confusion that's going on for them um, inside of their physical world. Maybe they're not clear on what it is that they necessarily want for themselves, especially when it comes to soulmate relationships. They're just maybe they may be closed down a little bit. They may not be open to receiving the energy, whatever the case may be. There is some lack of insight um, when it comes to those particular things. And they're just really not in a place to kind of receive the energy as it stands right now. Emotionally, your soulmate energy is in conflict with him or herself, okay? His or herself. And the energy here is just, again, like I said, they're not really receptive. They're not really closed down. They may be in some type of inner conflict trying to make decisions about certain things, not really getting very far within what those decisions are, just kind of arguing back and forth within themselves about different situations and how things are going on. And also maybe even sometimes struggling to find their own path as far as what's going to be the best um and most direct form of, you know, working through problems or working through issues for them. So they may be going through a little bit of a rough patch right now. So, you know, Pisces, if you have any level of compassion towards anyone, please extend that towards your soulmate or your partner because they need a little love and support right now. And they're kind of going through some things, even if it's only spiritually, lend them a certain level of support, okay? So calcite relaxation is in your spiritual position um, on the side of the soulmates to the Piscean energy. Calcite relaxation spiritually, they on a hiatus. They're like, boom, okay? Like, <laughs> I don't need to be doing too much spiritual work or too much whatever. And when it comes to this, I just kind of need a moment of a hiatus to kind of really recharge and recalibrate myself. And it's necessary for them. They may be a little cut off from their spirituality. They may not be at the heights at which they normally express themselves. And that's okay. So if they're not, if you're sending any telepathic messages to them and they're not getting it, that's why. They're taking a little break, respite from that energy inside of themselves. And they really need to recharge on that part of their energy and that part of their being. So the bottom of the deck for you guys, which is your outcome card, is uh, Orpiment, which is success. So Pisces, um, this looks like this is going to be a very positive cycle for you. This is going to be a very positive energy for both you and your soulmate, okay? There's going to be some type of successful completion of whatever the, the issue or the energy is around empowering yourselves. So it looks like you're a little bit more ahead in the process than your partner is. Your partner may be going through a little bit more something, something, but it will work itself out in the long term so just be as positive as you can be around the situation make sure that you extend a level of love and support to this energy because again like I said your partner is going through a lot even though you may too be going through a lot you're just somehow managing or negating it navigating it a little bit better than they are okay so that's the energy there um let's look at your Romance Angel card. So in the near past position, we have engagement. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. It's inverted. So this could indicate that there was some type of um, engagement or some type of relationship where you guys were going to another level inside of your commitment or there was like some type of, you know, level of discussion of marriage or different types of things like that. But it didn't work out the way that you thought it was for whatever reason. And that's in the near past position. So what's in the present position for you guys is you deserve love and you are lovable. And this is inverted. So some, I don't know, but maybe that's what you're feeling emotionally. You're feeling vulnerable, like you're not loved the way that you deserve to be loved or you need to be loved. Maybe there's a little bit of level of insecurity around that, but that's okay, honey. You are very lovable and you do deserve love, okay? So you just got to do the work on yourself to be the best version of yourself that you can be. Maybe you, it's not the issue of you as a person. Maybe it's an issue of how you communicate or how you navigate in relationships that can be hurtful to your partner or cause pain for your partner, whatever the case may be, or they may be causing pain to you. Um, so you guys do need to kind of work on that area a little bit, um, feeling a little bit more empowered inside of the fact that both of you are lovable and you are loved. And love is free, okay? Love comes from the universe, the divine, God, goddess, whatever you want to call it. That energy is always there and it's always available to you and you are filled with love. And as Pisces, if you're operating on your higher self, you always have a heart full of love and compassion, okay? So <laughs> there's that energy there. So don't feel like you aren't lovable, you know, work through whatever insecurities are creating that issue for you. 
Your near future card is attraction. It says you can attract you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So again, like I said, by working on those insecurities and those issues, you're going to be able to attract the partner that you desire into your life. And if that's your goal for yourself, bottom of the deck is children. Your love life is being affected by children. So some of the issues that you may be going through may also be interconnected to children or finance or some type of energy around that. Okay. So, again, like I said, Pisces, this is your soulmate reading for October 2018, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This was your soulmate reading. Um, please make sure that you subscribe if you're on my YouTube. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're aware of when we upload, upload new content. If you're live with me on my Facebook page, make sure that you like this, give it a heart, share it with people who you know need it or in love with Pisces or are Pisces themselves in any of them major placements and you know need a little bit of assistance when it comes to that area of their lives all right like i said make sure you guys always go on ahead to geminiholistics.com slash services check us out there and book any personal services that you may need from us there all right so the information should be in the description as well as um post it somewhere in the comments if you guys need it or you can inbox me if we're on facebook and ask me for the information all right so peace and blessings so much love to you guys and i will see you guys soon so i think sometime at the end of the week i should have so pisces so i should have aries through gemini all right